Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 9th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. We're starting out here looking at our sun for the last 48 hours. Lots of activity here. We've seen four M class solar flares and as well an X class solar flare. Stay tuned here as we are looking at these fiery sunspots cresting in just below the equatorial region. This is the last 48 hours incoming. Pretty active sunspot cresting in there. Large CME blast de detected, not in an earth facing fashion. Looking at the last 48 hours, outgoing small CME was detected in an outgoing fashion. But other than that, just still watching some pretty active sunspot regions, M-class solar flares and X-class solar flare. This was in an earth-facing position. Having a look, a closer look at this large CME that shot off from the sun right from this region here. Just a massive belt of plasma shooting out into our solar system. Amazing stuff here. This is Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is all open source media available for everybody. Having a look at a multi-spectrum. Still watching that plasma tornado. Kind of diminished there in the last few frames. Other than that, no coronal holes. Just some active sunspot regions. And they are big and very complex. Having a look here, 193 angstroms. You can see darkened diminished coronal hole in the northern hemisphere but other than that nothing to report for coronal holes i want to thank everybody take a quick moment thank you for over 60,000 follows i appreciate all the love and support to this channel keeping humanity aware and prepared i'm so happy to be of service to humanity having a look here at the sunspot regions in action when you can see those big red blobs and blue blobs mixing around we've got something coming for sure so we've seen as i said four m class solar flares and one x class solar flare the last 24 hours having a look at lasco 2 showing all of the sun's energy from the last two days taking off you can see that large cme that i showed you from the beginning taking off from the southwest region right there Pretty large plasma blast taking off from our sun. Quick look here at the highest frequency absorption map. This is residual effects from the solar flare. Most likely R3 radio emission possible disruptions. So an R3 geostorm highly affected there over East Pacific. And we've seen, we saw a very large earthquake today, the 7.6. So very notable what's going on right now, especially with the Mercury retrograde. In which I was warned, warned everybody next last week, I do believe, of all this coming activity. But when you get the sun involved, definitely going to see some increased activity. Having a look at the solar x-ray flux, you can see that large spike here over the last little bit. X class solar flare X 1.5 and we had one two three four five M class solar flares small M class but definitely notable here the last 24 hours pretty busy geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2 for right now having a look at our real time solar wind 336 kilometers per second right now saw a few disruptions there during those flares today but definitely going to be seeing some space weather as it is expected 9th into the 10th of january the same time as i said we're seeing that mercury retrograde it is getting ready to leave now 9th and 10th will do its full transition you can see all of that space weather coming here with the iswa space prediction spiral and it does correlate here with noaa's space weather prediction center Schumann resonance for today, a buzz, a high power of 45. Considering what we've seen recently, this does not surprise me. 
all this energy with the Mercury retrograde, I do believe this is correlation. Power of 21, amplitude of 45. Now let's get to shakers across the planet as we just had pretty rare earthquakes here. Saudi Arabia, 4.9 and a 4.7. Interesting earthquakes there into the Arabian plate. Lots of activity through Greece. Not all of them are being shown here with USGS, but definitely something is a brewing through Europe. And of course, this large 7.6, 105 kilometer depth magnitude earthquake, Tanambar, Indonesia, followed by a 5.4, 5.2 there, Western Indonesia, 5.2, Eastern Papua New Guinea, and as well, Solomon Islands, 5.0, 5.2. And our deepest earthquake today, 593 kilometer depth, 4.4 south of Fiji. Carrying on here, minor earthquake there, 4.4, Marianas Trench. And very quiet through Alaska, except for minor activity. Hawaii is seeing some minor activity come back with the 2.8 being the largest today. And a quick look here at the caldera of Kilauea. United States seeing some increasing seismicity all up the west coast of California, especially with all of this rain. You're going to see these minor earthquakes in, increase over the next few days as these systems pound the coastline. Atmospheric compression earthquakes and as well, lots of rain is going to be shifting a lot of mud. So heads up everybody through California and thoughts and prayers to everybody affected quick look there over the united states nothing major to report still under 200 earthquakes across the usgs i think we're sitting at 180 activity here through chile off the coast 4.3 there coquimbo otherwise minor activity up into bolivia 4.8 earthquake here south sandwich islands and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Please, heads up, everybody. We're going to see some more earthquakes the next little bit. Increased activity and as well the depth of that large 7.6 today in Indonesia. Definitely a sign of things to come. I think we have not seen anything yet. 7.6 and a 6.0 yesterday. Vanuatu. Rare earthquakes up into the Arabian plate. And East Pacific just seems all too quiet right now. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated, overlooking the Atlantic. Very large, low-pressure system there spinning. We also have Senge in Ecuador. Most recent volcano getting updated, Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Almost 200 active hazards, and a lot of them are floods. Fuego, Guatemala. Tsunami watches and warnings went out today with that 7.6. Two buoys went into end event mode, but have since stopped. So there must have been some kind of mechanical failure. Or something. Also looking at Popo and Mexico, Shevelich in Russia, Sabincaya in Peru, Raventador in Ecuador, Nevada's Daru is at Colombia. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 44 that are active and or erupting across the world. Satellite imagery of this large low pressure upper level low. It's got a bunch of lows wrapped up in it, and as well, another one building here over the northern Atlantic. And then our atmospheric river, which is still pounding the California coastline with almost cyclonic low-pressure systems that are building through the West Pacific. Arctic outflow is helping build and strengthen these systems. And the lower-latitude jet stream lower longitude jet stream i mean overlooking the rest of the world some snowy systems moving up through central russia rain still pounding through the monsoon areas 
And just look at the sheer, sheer size of these systems affecting Europe right now and atmospheric rivers still forming both hemispheres. So strange days indeed as our weather is a changing, our climate is a changing. Let's have a look here at Ventu Sky showing the next few days for forecast. Do have a big low off the coast is going to be drenching California right up into BC over the next few days. But we also have a Colorado low here that we'll be building by the weekend. Going to send some pretty warm temperatures up into eastern Canada and the United States. Watch for that to move through and then colder temperatures dropping in behind that as they move out to the Atlantic provinces. And then another low pressure system here by the weekend moves in for California. So definitely flood warnings are still going to be popping up all across the state. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Rio de Janeiro. Other than that, no major systems affecting you over the next few days. Overlooking Africa and Madagascar. Heavier rains this week over Madagascar, but no systems really affecting South Africa until late next week when we have a possible tropical cyclone here tracking towards the island of Madagascar. Overlooking Europe, we do have a low pressure system right over Italy right now and is going to spend the next four or five days spinning around the Mediterranean. Watch for more earthquakes through Greece. And watch for stormy conditions all along the coastline here as this low pressure system will track through Cairo, Egypt. And Northwest Africa, pretty big strong system affecting you as well. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. Big low pressure system heading towards the Philippines, but looks like it's going to miss you guys. Head north. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Got a possible tropical cyclone here that could be named over the next 24 hours. It's going to be heading towards northern New Zealand. Take the next three days tracking southward. And then in the long range forecast here for northeastern Australia, two major systems affecting you. One is inland and one is on the coastline. The one on the coastline could develop into a pretty strong system. So heads up, my Aussie friends and family. Stay safe. Stay aware and prepared, and please share this channel with your friends and family. Again, thanks for over 60,000 follows. Much love, and we'll see you next video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.